is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video hopefully you guys recognize this guy and hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day we are at the new house build property i know it's been a minute we were waiting on permits we're waiting on official government i don't know if it's government but you know whatever the high level guys have to approve and you know get all the permits and do all the the boring stuff so we're here I'm here to give you guys a quick update. Uh, we're Macy's in the car. She's with she's with baby right now, hanging out. We wanted to come check it out since we are ready. We're gonna be pouring foundation in the next week or so. Um, I did not document. I apologize. I have had so much going on. I've never been so busy, stressed, and just freaking out in my life right now. Just because everything happened at one time. Obviously, baby, love her to death. But you know that comes with obviously time consuming things to do is take care of a child and then deer hunt and then duck hunting and so on and so forth so it's just been like a million miles an hour i have to set my priority straight right now priority is killing deer and ducks not filming the house and i apologize so the foundation has been dug out i figured you guys wouldn't you know absolutely kill me if i missed another dirt video uh, just moving dirt around but i will hopefully be able to document when they pour the foundation get the concrete trucks in here i'm hopefully going to get out here um i just tried now putting up some cell cameras on time lapse when i got one there and i got one way at the back of the property and i'm going to try running those because i can kind of hardwire those into some bigger solar batteries and they'll just take pictures the gopros were not the deal i couldn't figure it out the mini truck was here for that we had solar panels i couldn't do it so i gave up on it and then i was like wait these, these cell cameras actually take pictures maybe i'll try that so i got one up there one over there to kind of practice and try it out but i want to give you guys a quick update this is probably what the videos are going to look like you know for a little bit a little while here you know i want to document as much of the house as i possibly can but i can't come up here and film a video frame and just you know framing the house because like framing the house is going to take weeks and like for me to be up here every single day it's a couple hours from my house right now so it's a drive to get all the way up here and uh Anyways, what it's probably gonna be is I'm gonna try to get up here probably once a week and kind of document or I guess recap what happened and then maybe roll some time-lapse footage, but we're not gonna be able to do like daily house building vlogs. It's just not possible. I just, I can't do it, folks. We got too much going on. We got the ranch going on. We got all these other stuff going on and uh, it's just not possible. Plus, not all of it's super, super exciting. You know, I'm gonna try to maybe make a few videos, like dedicated videos to the home build, but a lot of it is just gonna come in five minute updates like you're getting right now. But before we jump into it entirely, I have to let you guys know because I get comments all the time. Like this guy right here, Ducks Vest, all the thermal hoodies, the old school thermal, the old school vest, all of the new cold gear is now available. It literally dropped yesterday at duckswaterfowl.com. It's linked down below. Get it before it sells out. We're not going to get a new shipment in before the end of the season. So if you want to get geared up, this is the only time you possibly can do it. Um, but all you guys have been commenting about it, all the thermal hoodies, all the thermal vests, brand new warm gear like I'm wearing today because it's freaking cold out here is available. Link down the description but update is foundation is dug so this will give you maybe potentially a decent idea of what we're what we're going after so we've made some changes a lot of what took so long is i literally as of th three weeks ago i like changed the whole design of the house i know my builder probably wanted to kill me but i was like you know what i want a giant room below the garage and he's like okay so that's what that is that is gonna be like a 14 foot wall huge room what am i gonna do with it i don't know but i was like let's put a room under the garage you know otherwise it's just gonna be dirt so why not put something below it um so this is gonna be the garage the other thing we changed is we put the garage doors on the other side so right now where macy's car is is how you would come down oh yeah and we rocked the road there's gravel on the road now so we come down and and there's gonna be a circle driveway right here this is where the front of the house will be but then she can go this way pull around and where that little white flag thing is right there in that corner these that's where the garage doors are going to be so they're going to be on the back side now you might be why would you put the garage doors on the back side i don't know i was talking to my builder and i was like you got any cool ideas he's like well you can put the garage doors on the back side that's kind of like a cool thing to do because then like the back side of the garage would be on the front side of the house and you can make it look like it's part of the house so then and like the house looks finished it doesn't get broken up by the garage doors and it just looks like a nice you know clean kind of symmetrical looking house like yeah that sounds dope honestly other reason why we could do it is because it would put our driveway on that side which you can see the sun the sun is on the driveway there's nothing worse than having a north facing driveway i grew up with one i told myself i'll never do it again so before the driveway would have been here right you pull in your garage doors would be right here you pull in right here well your whole house and garage is going to block the sun and you're always going to have ice i did it like i, I the whole i don't know 
oh, 18 years I lived in a house, north facing driveway, I was scraping ice every single night. It was not fun and I was like, I'm not gonna do it again. So that's one super big bonus is it's gonna be on the south side so it should stay dry here. Obviously in the Midwest, we get snow, okay? That's just kind of part of it. So they're on the backside. The other thing too is like, you'll have the garage doors but you're also gonna have a nice little pad right there. So that's where like, you know, kids can go out and play basketball. We could set out, you know, some of a basketball hoop and it's kind of behind everything so it's it's all tucked back so you can see the backyard there that's the backyard that big like light color it's gonna tie into this so if like the kids want to go out there and do kid activities and they want to play basketball or maybe swim in the pool we're thinking about putting a pool in um or do whatever it all kind of like ties in to the back of the house and then the front of the house is literally just a circle driveway and that's and then that's it there's not a, like the party's in the back it's like a mullet mullets are in so i'm like why not design my house like one right business in the front party goes in the back so like i said this is below wow that deer was that deer was living on the edge right there son so this is going to be under the garage huge basement we could do anything with it we already have a, a theater room a movie theater room i don't call it a movie theater it's kind of dramatic it's just a theater room um here which is why it's sunk down a little bit so you know projectors some couches some places to watch some netflix you know hang out do that thing and then over here I didn't know I was like I mean indoor basketball court potentially I mean I feel like that's big enough and maybe at least like a half court so you can do indoor basketball court you could turf it maybe, you know for me I was like it's 1500 square foot in case you guys are curious like th that spot right there 1500 square foot I'm like the kids could totally use it like you know I'm just thinking for down the road in the future it's cold out here like right now today kids aren't gonna want to go outside and ride bikes well they go inside and ride bikes or they go inside and you know play basketball or kick a soccer ball around or throw a football around and again it was like not overly expensive to add 1500 square feet to your house very cheap way to do it. if you guys are building a house consider it maybe it's not for everybody but for me like the, the house i live in right now has a basement under the garage and it's like it's it's giant i don't even go in the basement hardly you guys have barely even seen it um but it adds so much square footage usable square footage recreational square footage indoor square footage that myself or the kiddos or whoever um could use so let me know what you guys think basketball court just rec room i don't know you do like part gym part rec room part whatever maybe indoor swimming pool where i could just do laps i don't know i was just like dig the hole i'll figure it out later that's how i go through life so then the rest of the basement's here no, I think there'll be a bedroom somewhere. I don't know where everything is. There's bedrooms in here. I think there's two down and then the movie theater room and now this thing. And then there's going to be like a, you know, a normal hangout space. And there's going to be like a four seasons room, which is like where there's like big glass doors that open up. So you can like act like you're outside, but you're inside technically. And there'll be a bar downstairs. Lots of stuff going on. I just had to give you guys a quick update since I was already out here. I've not been out here for weeks. And now they're finally going through it. It's like, boom, we're digging out the foundation. We're pouring the footings. We're pouring the foundation. And then we're going to be framing. So they're hoping to be framing towards the end of December, early January. And then, you know, basically work throughout the winter. You know, we're really, we're looking at a long time, folks. And probably right now, I'm, I'm guessing 18 months. So, you know, stay tuned when I say stay tuned. It's going to be a little bit while. But again, if you guys like these little five minute, I don't know how long, eight minute updates, uh, let me know. I mean, like I said, this is probably a little bit longer than I would make the rest of them. The other ones should be pretty quick. But since I've missed so much, since you guys have missed so much that I wanted to make sure I talked about it all. And then that's where the shop's going to be. Look at all the green grass. Chad planted that grass there on the top. So, so the, the shop is going to go on that little brown pad there. So it looks good. Big, big old shop right there. We'll have some, you know, cooking area in there for the catch and cooks instead of my little garage corner that you guys see now. And then that thing will loop up and you can drive here back side of the house. So you'll have this big concrete pad there, big concrete pad there, like I said, for activities. I'm all about the activities. And then not to mention on the other side of this hill, we'll have the pond too, but that's, that's like stay freaking tuned. That's like two years from now. It's, it's a long journey building a house, getting everything developed and whatnot, but there's your update. I'm sorry it was long, but I feel like a lot of you guys were commenting. We need a house update. We need a house update. Boom. There's your update. There's a big ass hole in the ground. That's about it. And new fire ducks merch. That is also an update. So with that being said, I'm going to head back. We are going to get to building. We are building a giant deer blind out of leftover cabin wood. So you guys stay tuned. Shit. What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another video. Come on, doggies. Come on, come on, come on. Go get them, go get them. I don't know what you're getting, but you go ahead and get them. We are starting the day off with the animals. Carol! See, we need to latch that fence. That's the problem. Carol, you're on the wrong side. Gate swung shut because it's freaking Katrina out here with the wind. So Carol got stuck on that side, so I need to get her. You guys want to take care of the feeding business? Yeah. You guys got it. Got I believe it. in you. Okay, well, we're going to these guys fend take care of. I got to go in there and rescue Carol and make sure she's doing all right. She got stuck on the other side. Ralph! Go back, go. The, look, the grain's going over there, buddy. That just shows that we gotta pin that gate back. That way, 
she don't, or anyone else doesn't get stuck over there because there's no food or water over there, which again, that would have happened. I mean, I was driving back here last night and it wasn't, so it would have probably been this morning. So she's, she's all right. Come on, Carol. You got stuck on the other side, didn't you? They're liking that salt block though. I'll tell you what, they've been munching on that stuff. Carol, come on, Carol. Carol, let's go, buddy. Yeah, 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 you can spread her, spread the wealth. I don't think that's going nowhere now. We'll leave that sucker open. So our gate's still working. It's doing all right, not bad. Um, but the, yeah, see the wind knocked that sucker over. So it's, the wind's been getting it. Water, let's check the water strat. It's almost, it's like the first day where, man. Oh my gosh, this wind is brutal. All right, there you go. Beautiful. Well, we're getting that filled up. Getting the animals fed, taken care of. We have a very exciting video. So speaking of the wind, speaking of the gates flying over, my blind that I've shot two deer out of now, two. I shot my archery deer, not the buck, but the doe in the backyard, and the muzzleloader, that big kegger elk looking sucker. That blind I was in got yeeted from the wind. We had it staked down with everything that it came with, completely staked down, ready to go. And uh, this morning we looked up and it was sitting on top of the lawn. We'll show you, it's up there. We're sitting there thinking, I'm like, man, honestly, it's about to get really cold, which that, you know, it's a tent, essentially. It's not gonna be super warm. Um, so it's gonna be cold outside, which means it's not gonna be warm in the blind. And the wind's taking it. I'm like, snow, there's no way that sucker's gonna hold up to a bunch of snow if it can't even handle the wind. We should build something, because it's a great spot, right? The food plot's flourishing. There's, you know, purple top turnips, there's radishes. It's gonna be really good late season. We've got shotgun season coming up. We got late muzzleloader season coming up. It's gonna be good. We gotta get a blind over there. Now, one option could be to take out the uh, RV blind, the old camper blind, the pop-up camper blind. That's sitting down the road from here. We could take that and set that over there, but I'm like, honestly, that's kind of overkill. It's pretty big. It's not a very big plot, and that's a really big blind. I'd rather put that big blind out on a huge pasture that we can shoot rifles and muzzle loaders a little bit further distance. And, may, and it's portable, so we could take it out to the farm. We could take it to the ranch. We should build something for here at the house that's semi-permanent, something that we can pick up maybe with the skid loader and move around, but it's going to be warm. It's going to be big enough for two or three beefcakes, um, and it's going to be give us a really nice place for some late-season deer hunting when that snow hits the ground and those radishes and turnips are still popping up that's when all the big deer come out and start munching because it's the only food source that they're gonna have that's the plan now as you guys saw there's a barn door way over on that barn right there you guys saw that video so we are all about repurposing wood, right? We got lots of wood left now. I've always said, keep the wood, no big deal, because we can build duck blinds and deer blinds. Well, today we are building a deer blind out of the scrap wood. We got some two by fours already that we can use. And there was a pallet that the blinds, I think the big tower blinds of the ranch came on. Big, huge pallet. I think it's like, I wanna say it's like seven by eight pallet or so. Oh man, I better shut off the water before we have it start having spillage. Look at, our contraption still works. Fills up both of these suckers. Perfect, look at that. See, it flows into the next one. We got plenty of water for these guys. So seven by eight is the pallet. I'm like, well, if we built it on the pallet, then we should be able just to pick it up with pallet forks from the skid loader and we can move it wherever. We can put it on a trailer. We can move it around the property. We can take it to the ranch or wherever. So that's the plan. You guys ever built a deer blind? I have not built a deer blind. Before. You've got some, well, both of you guys have yeah, experience yeah, in framing it. though, right? Yeah. So All we're thinking, I'm thinking pallet, maybe some plywood, like sub, sub floor. Yeah. Frame up your walls, like a square, rect a little more of a rectangle because it'd be probably seven by eight and then have like the front of it a little taller than the back so you the pitch your roofs. It's like this, honestly. Yeah. The, the actual, should we take notes? What's the sucker? How they build this sucker? This is actually exactly what we're building. Not, what if we made the, one of these into a deer blind? Ooh, yeah. Dude, uh, imagine the palace. A little I'm serious, these are like two grand. They're Bro, not that expensive. We could put like a kitchen in this bad Dude, boy. Wait, why did I, I'm no, I'm not, I'm having like a, a moment. <laughs> uh, why did we never think of that? Yo, tractor supply, we need one more of these little barn things. Dude, I'm serious, so would you, you just said put a kitchen in it. Why don't we? Yeah. Bro, we can have gourmet breakfast in the deer blind. <laughs> wait, I'm serious, wait, not, not today's video, but like low key, why don't we buy one of these and turn it into Bro, a deer blind? We could be hunting in a Easy boy recliner? Yes. Oh, Easy boy. I'm serious. Like, I'm oh, yeah. serious when I say this. Dude. Let's do it. We might. Here's an idea. What if what if that was your front? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hear me out. And you bring your ATV and you can pull it inside oh, on yeah. once and you would still have two bays, bro. Oh, I just had the, I just had a moment. I just had a moment. So yes, we are gonna copy. Okay. So I'm just seeing how they why, look at the why is the dog right? Yeah, we just gotta take maybe we can snap some pics. You want to go on picture duties? Snap some pics, because this is exactly what we're gonna build. It's a little lower in the back, taller in the front, and it's gonna be smaller than this. I mean, this is like a, I don't know what this is, 10 by 20 or something like that. Um, but it's going to be very, very similar. Frame up the walls. We're going to, we're not going to put tin on it. We're going to put the wood, our leftover cabin. So it's going to be a little heavy, like, so we got skid loaders. And it's going to be just like, I mean, that's probably a five foot. So maybe to here and then, yeah, probably back would be our blind right there. And we're going to, we got plexiglass for windows. We got uh, hinges for doors. It's going to be big enough. For, why did I never you think about that? Do Dude, because you can just drag these out. Like you can trailer these suckers and put them wherever. On my tilt trailer, you could get this on the tilt trailer 
with a winch and then just drop it. Seriously, you take your ATV, you could bring, or like the golf, I bet the golf cart would be close. We might have to make it a little bit taller. Yeah. Park your ATV in here. You've got a L-shaped couch might get with a kitchenette. Thing. And then we sit here and we've got a bench that people can just have their rifles out. Oh. It might have to be next year, but keep that in mind. Do You guys, do not let me forget that. You could build a palace, bro. Oh, yeah. I mean a palace. Stick that on the food plot at the ranch and you would, oh man, I'm, I, I'm, I think we're on to something. I don't know why I've never thought about that. And you get these custom made. So like I could probably get smaller, taller, however we want. We could just do a two wide. That might be the deal. And they're metal. So we could, we could paint them. We could camo. Oh, yeah, I'm serious. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I convinced myself. Maybe next year you guys will stay tuned. We're going to make the deer palace. The buck bunker is going to be the plan for them. What do you do? Carlos, you're looking thick as hell, buddy. <laughs> Damn. Double cheeked up. What you doing, llama? You hanging out, buddy? Big boy Ralph, you having a good day, buddy? What do you think you can take you? That's big enough. We can put him in there and take him deer hunt with us. Oh, ah. And Dale. Dale, you can go deer hunt, buddy. All right. Well, I just convinced myself I'm buying another barn. You know what we could do? Because I'm moving, you know, in a year and a half. What if we just took both of those and turned them into blinds and then I just built like a real big barn for the animals? So then it's like it's not wasting these guys because I don't know if I'm going to take these to my new property. We could just turn them into just giant Hallis blinds. I think that, that could be the deal. So anyways, we're going to head up and I'll show you the blind that got KO'd. Come on, Lucy. Go get them, go get them, go get them. I'll show you the blind that got KO'd that we're going to be replacing, where we're going to be putting the blind. And then we're going to get up in the nice heated shop and get to building. Beef K Construction LLC is getting started today. Come on, Millie. Come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Now you got it. Now you got it. All right, well, you guys stay tuned. Shoo! Oh my gosh, it's windy out here. There's the blind. Look at that. Rip! So there's our, oh, I know the wind's brutal. I, I, be, bear with me here. There's our food plot over the hill. Look, there's the house. There's the shop. That thing got yeeted up the hill. It was sitting down on that hill, and that's where I've shot two of my deer. Both deer at the houses where I've been, where I've shot those. So that's the one we've got to replace. Rip to that guy. He's definitely broken. We're building something that will be windproof, hopefully. So let's get in the shop and get to building. Stay tuned. What are you guys thinking? You excited? Well, made it into the beefcake garage here. Two by fours, OSB, three quarter, perfect. And then this is the, that's a mess. I knew we could repurpose these so suckers. I think the tower blinds we have are like, I want to say six by eight or seven by eight. I was gonna say, I think they're a little smaller, maybe just by a little bit. So, I mean, you could easily put two shooters and two guys back here. We can hop four guys in there if we really want to. Or two shooters out the front window and two camera eyes in the back, we could also do that. Two so, shooters in the front and a couch in the back. That's see, you were on the same page now. We're talking about lazy boy hunting. I want to shoot one from the lazy boy next year. That's going to be the goal. So I think what we're thinking is this guy goes on top and then there's going to be another little strip because it's seven. So you have a three foot strip. So we put the floor down first. Is that, is that the plan? Floor down. And then this is, it's going to be similar to this, right? Just frame up the walls, cover it up. But then the front has to be taller than the back. But you have some drawings. We should just show them the drawings. We got, I knew we hired an architect for a reason. That's funny is like, there's so many videos of me doing just like that. But I'm just like, ch -ch 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 -ch. and I'm like, you guys just, it's abstract. You got to squint and tilt your head to the side. Exhibit A. So front. It's a deer blind dominium. There you go. So we just now, before we went down to the animals, we, we decided to put a bow window in because we want it to be versatile. This was supposed to just be a shotgun uh, rifle thing, but vertical bow window, two gun windows, we should call it. And that's the front. Then the side is going to just have one three foot window. And you can see that's, it's very similar to the barns we have down there. And then the whole thing's going to be covered in extra wood. So this was, this is probably the, like the most, ex uh, maybe not the most expensive. How much were the two by four? Uh, about a hundred bucks for the two by four. Oh, that's not that bad. And this would have been 12, two, 120 bucks, right? Just for the Oh, no, there's four of them. 160. 160. So we're doing, is, is it plexiglass or plexiglass. plexiglass? So that's, you could probably get away with something. The other, so here's one thing to think about. If you skimp on the windows and they fog, like, what do you call that? When it's like crappy plastic and it's so it like, it gets like a haze on it. Your windows are worthless. So you want, that's one thing you don't want to skimp on if you're going to put windows could in Could have gone with a thinner plexiglass. Yes. Cheaper, but it's not going to last. You nope. can put hinges through it. True. Oh yeah, true. Sure, it'll scratch up. Yeah, because I've, I've noticed that like there's side by sides you buy and you can either put a glass window windshield or a maybe it's plexiglass and it like just gets foggy and hazy so if you get some higher quality stuff it should hopefully stay clear otherwise you can't see out of the window and at that point what's the point of the window so plexiglass 160 two so we're at 260 and then what about the roof uh eight dollars a piece for the panel so there's eighty dollars in the roof Eighty dollars. We're at like three fifty ish, probably ish. Three sixty. Three sixty. The OSB was thirty some dollars a sheet, I think. Three of those is ninety more. Four fifty. Call it five hundred bucks. All all in because we have hinges and everything else. Five hundred bucks, not including the pallet we got for free and the wood that I did pay for, but it's left over. So I mean, five hundred dollars, not including the siding and the pallet. If you were to go buy siding, I mean, you could just do sheets of OSB and probably cover it for two hundred more dollars, maybe. So I would say a six to seven hundred fifty dollar 
blind is kind of what we're going for, which compared to $3,000 tower blinds we have out there, I would say this is cheaper. And I don't think it's gonna blow away like the other blinds that we have out there. So the first thing we're gonna do is get the OSB on there tacked down. We've got nail guns and we're gonna paint it. We're gonna brush it in and then hopefully pick it up with a skid loader and go take it out. So stay tuned. This will be taller than the back. So we're saying six feet at the back. Is that a good height to start with? Off the floor? Six, six feet, yeah, that way we can pretty much stand up. Pretty much stand up. The short side's six foot. I want to be able to stand up in the, in the whole thing. And it'll look something like Beautiful. That's it. That's our cut in the wood. <laughs> something like that. Yeah, that's like a prototype there, right? Yeah. <laughs> we'll have a little slant on it. Also we'll plow it up and grab a skill saw. <laughs> Start ripping. Now I'm ready. Jeez. Jeez. That's what happens when you got a nice warm shot. Sorry to get sweaty. <laughs> Dude, just being able to stand up. I think you were right about let's just make the inside six foot so yeah. that it's like yeah. six four. It's six four, like, then you're not even like, yeah, you don't even have six foot, up. my head would definitely be touching. Yeah, just give it. <laughs> yeah, big tall a guy. A bunch over of 5'11 guys in here. She had more? Yeah. That looks like a decent enough bow window. Oh, this one's a lot lighter than that. <laughs> This is a tall boy. Dude. It's like a literal like, cabin almost. It's like a cabin. Keep me honest, Chase. 76. So top and bottom, 76. Hey, we're off here. Oh. What'd you cut that one? 76. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Did I just measure that? You're too crazy with it now. I called, I said, hey. No, that was. Well, you made the mark for 76, but that was a pre-existing mark, and you cut 70. I thought somebody sabotaged me for a second. I was like, Chase, what happened? What happened to my 76, man? You were just ahead. You were cutting a stud premature. That's thinking ahead. Hey, the recoil. The gap needs to be three feet. For the window. Correct. Okay, then you can just put it two. I would do two, two supports, and then the window in, in the middle of it. All right. Last wall done. The further the those nails are. That's perfect. Just Bring a couple more. Aim up. 
this one. Do you really need supports in that for that triangle shape no. then? Yeah, no. we're over. done then. It might be easier to put the roof on now. Yeah. While you can get inside yeah, and get around. Let's do, it. Let's do the roof. Okay. All right, get your hammers. Where's Banjo? We need Banjo to get up there. He's always falling off ladders. Throw them all up so we don't leave a gap. Let's do it. We don't have a lot to work with. Yeah. Throw them all up, just make sure. So far, we're good. Look at that. Good to me. Good? Cool. All right. Sweet. All right, let's get the hammer. So we can do one of two ways. We can either each board, we can figure out the notches. We can just board it up yep. and then cut it. Just take the saws all or whatever and cut out. The window. Oh, the windows. The windows. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And board the whole thing. So are you just gonna notch as we hit the rafters? Uh yeah. So as, as we, we go. go over, if we need notch, we'll notch. So that yeah. way it goes all the way up. Uh, so the first one will have a little corner. Have on a corner it. notch. Yeah. yeah. We're about to go on siding, dude. Do we need to? Yeah, we need to get a whole bunch of siding, siding here. here. Yeah. yeah. Let's Let's get get it. the two shooter windows. We got the bow window cleaned up, cut out. Let's see it. She go. Yeah. Well, we're gonna take a saw and cut out the windows later. We'll do that after and then we'll put the, the plexi on it. But you guys were hating on wasting all the wood for the cabin. Look at it now. This is a beautiful. I mean, it's big, big. And we were talking maybe, I don't know if we'll do it today, but we definitely could insulate this sucker. You just get the, the paper back. Put the paper there, get your hammer stapler, leave it, don't do anything with it, and that should absorb the sound. So this thing should pretty much be soundproof, then it would be warm, so you could heat it and you'd be good to go. So we're gonna have window here, bow window here, another window here. So the bottom of the window is gonna be right here and it's gonna go one foot up. So it's gonna be like right here. We're gonna have one window there, one window there, and we don't need anything in the back. So front is done, next up, gonna be the side. Stay tuned. What's going on? Oh, uh, we got a problem. Oh, oh, Stand sir. Little, squished your bumper. Jeez. Mine went straight in Son of a, God, that's why I can't have nice things. I didn't realize those boards were so dang long. Buddy's out here jagging. Oh, here goes my mule. Straighten her out, Terry. Good? Good? Yeah. I can't have nice things. Yeah, I might have to take a little heat gun through her. Hey, beefcake automotive. What did yeah, I say? We, we can fix it. Start a mechanic shop. Right? You break it, we'll fix it. I've done worse. I ain't worried about it. We might just lay them up on top of the gate and you're gonna have a little bend, but at least that way we're not dealing with it. Anyways, hey guys, broke the mule and here we are I'm trying to get some more wood. This is what's left. That's what's crazy. Jake, how much was like when you first moved it? First moved it before, before Beefcake Barn Door LLC. These, these skids here, that's yeah. what that pallet is built on and that one was full too. So there we was- took it apart because we used it up. So there was three pallets of wood there and was, now yeah, there's like- One giant one there of all that solid so stuff. So I, I would say we've used two thirds of it. Do you oh, think? easily. Easily? Yeah, yeah maybe three quarters. Cut, we just keep putting right here. Here's some scrap. Yeah, see our, like we can frame in the windows, yeah. like oh, yeah. the resters up there. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, that's money. Oh, so that's we'll it. For the windows. Yeah, yeah, we'll use it for the windows. We're gonna grab some more wood. So this is not tongue and groove, but it's still perfectly good wood for the backs and the sides. The front, the tongue and groove we want on the front because it'll have some rigidity and it'll really make it windproof and waterproof. And we're gonna be facing it north. So throughout the winter, that's where the blunt of the weather is gonna come in. Anyways, let's get the rest of the wood loaded up. Stay tuned. Wood. Look, we all like we don't have a whole lot left. Honestly, like this stuff, if we have something, if not, that is all we're gonna need for the wood burning stove inside the off-grid cabin. So we can literally take that pallet down there, split it up into little sticks. There's not much at all. It's actually looking pretty darn good. So most of the wood's gotten used up. Take the rest of it. That is should be hopefully the rest of the study that we need for the deer blind. You guys stay tuned.
going on there, buddy? That's the, old, that's the old people. Gee, well, we got three sides done. We got one side left, but look, we even trimmed the windows. So those look good. Got them all trimmed up and ready to go. So the only side we have to do is over there. But this side's completely done. I mean, we still got to cut out the window. Or not, maybe just leave the, the hole there and you can just put your barrel right through there and hope for the best. On the back side here, completely done. And Welcome home. Look Welcome at home. that. Barn door. We got the barn door hinges on there. So we've got a little trim to do there, a little trim to do there, nothing too crazy. But we got this side, this side, and the front side. You hop on in. Man, that is like smooth, dude. See, I'm glad we got them, them beefy little hinges. Sure. Look at this. This is the idea here. Right there. Good, yeah, I like sat in this chair to make sure. And it's like, it's perfect. You got bow window, two gun windows. We're gonna make another gun window there. Gun window over there. So we gotta side that side. That's the last one. No windows in the back. I don't think for this spot, it matters. One day we need one spring chains on. Right. TV up there, for sure. Got and then in this corner, we put a bench with a little grill on it so we can cook back here. Yeah, there's plenty, plenty of room for activities in here. If you guys wanna see maybe a part two, I'm thinking, so much you do part two, we insulate it, we turn it into a man cave, put TVs in here, put the cookers in here, get it all tricked out. We're not gonna get that done today, that's for darn sure. But if you guys wanna see part two of turning this sucker into a man cave, that you can sit in here, you got your heaters, you can sit in here all day long. Late muzzleloader season goes into January. I mean, there, what else is there to do in January besides sitting here and build go watch some football, go, build go-karts. Build go-karts. Watch football and hopefully shoot deer. So anyways, with that being said, let's go ahead and finish this wall, finish the windows, and we will be good to go. I don't think we're gonna paint it. We think it looks too good. I don't think it's necessary. Like, we were just talking, I'm like, dude, you could easily like slap a coffee logo in here and sell coffee in like a small town. Like it's ice fishing. Shack or an ice fishing shack. Could always do the ice fishing shack. Put a little hatch door on the floor. Yeah, and just drag it out. It just, it looks too good. We're also talking like if we want to build another one, we could turn it into a chicken coop. You do this exact same thing, but chicken coop. Go inside, put the little roost, you know, things for them. You get in there, you could shovel it out. You make a little hatch door. We could just like take a broom and push all the poop out. Then raccoons should not be able to break into this suck. I would be shocked if they did. And again, the whole thing, you can pick the whole sucker up. I think today, as you can tell, it's starting to get dark out. We're gonna go ahead and get the other side done and get the windows cut out, hopefully get the plexiglass on. And then tomorrow, we're gonna have to put it in place. We were thinking we, it might be harder to put in place than we think, at least where we're trying to get it. Yeah, this is where things are gonna get a little sketchy. We're gonna have skid loaders and chains and really hope for the best. Cause my skid loader forks, I think are, shoot, are those even four, I bet they're four foot. Four foot forks and it's an eight foot pallet. So you're gonna have half on and half off, which is not good for the stabilization of it. And then I gotta shoot it down that hill. It's tomorrow's where the thing's gonna get really interesting. Anyways, for now, let's go ahead and get the rest of it sided up. We just about got gassed out. Latch on at the wrong. Dude, oh my god. I've never gotten mustard gas, but that's gotta be damn close. <laughs> dude, that was brutal, dude. It like hit me right at the end. It must have filled up just enough. We all looked at each other going, are you alive? I'm barely alive. better than a chainsaw. <laughs> not it was not, not fun though. Well, we had an accident casually already. Right. That? I feel like I'm in the squid game right now. Like you're doing like a little tedious task and if you like mess up, you, you just die right there. Can you take no pressure. Right. Uh, what do we got going on over here? This assembly line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they'll fit. They'll just, just mm -hmm. like barely. And then uh, I'll grab a little net driver. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. What's up? Uh, come in here. Oh, to get the hinge sorry. flat to the wall, the window yeah, it won't. can only go to there. Unless you we choke it away the window. Oh, so we need, to, we need a shim under it. Yes. Yeah, a shim. We need it's the really width of the glass shims? behind the... Shims would do it. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're getting the glass. Dude, this glass is like or we'd have quality. To counter -sync, like, like super the entire tall. window. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, about, I'm the not about that. So, do you have a... Enough for your thing, or you have to we're gonna have to float a block there. I don't think we accounted for that either. And we might actually have to like sink this so our bolts don't hold us away from the wall because, like, our latch, if it's flat, or just pull your block out, I would cheat your block out. You could take an end of a two by four and stick it yeah, there. That's, we'll that's just put that in. We got plenty of Yeah, we're doing all right. Should 
work. Let's give that a shot. Right. Yep, that'll do. Okay. Yeah, it's split. We're using the skinny side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut the dots. Yeah, hold yeah. it. I think our hinges suck. Yeah. Yeah, these, these like hinges suck. Flat hinges. That's, what, that's the problem. They won't lay flat. I mean, they do, they are made to go flat. Do you have a, an open one that's not used? Definitely got something wrong here. Maybe that's our problem. We got the hinges on wrong. Hold on Specifically made them so that we, they would collapse all the way down. Yeah, so we got them on backwards. Are you sure? 100%. I, do. I mean, they should, should go flat. Um, 100% have them on unless backwards. Unless they're just hitting the, are they just hitting the screw heads? Is that the problem? No, no just they're, they're, really? it's doing that. That is yeah. exactly what okay, it's doing. They're on backwards. So I just want to make sure. like that. Yep. Right? It and should, it should be. Flaps all the way down. If it's like that. Yeah, I mean, it'll go flat. Okay. Or back. Yeah, because it's like, this is like exactly that angle that we're dealing with right now. No. It's just one of them. This one's backwards. Ah. These two are fine. You think so? Yeah, look at the, look at where the metal comes around the pin. Backside, the front barrel side. should be facing out to you. Yeah, Big barrels out, barrels out, barrels in. Mm, yeah, you're right. Mm, so it's just one. Just one. Oh, I oh, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barrels out. Barrels out. Barrels out. Barrels out. Barrels out. Barrels out. Oh, she Moment of truth. That's it. Please, 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 please. Ta -da! Oh, thank gosh. I got it. on the bolts. So. No, this is plenty. Or this is sketchy still. <laughs> Mint. Yeah, it is a little sketch. Is there enough room now? Give it I a bet change. it's close. I bet it's close. Let's take these little ones first. You really probably just need two screws to the TBH. That's not allowed at all. It works. I'm trying to think of how we can do this better. You go in there and look at what we did. Yeah. It just doesn't look good. Like, it yeah. doesn't seem reliable. Fine. At some point, something's gonna break. Yeah, and that, that, that was too it. far down, too. Putting these here yeah, it made it so that the window butts up to the sides yeah, right here. Side. Okay. But see how if we put the hinge flat to this, yeah. then the glass is being held up by this two by four. I see. So, it. I think so the, this screws two are, by four. the screws are in. Well, this one, you got lucky. But normally the screws would be in the way, mm -hmm. right? What yeah, is you this? Put the screw heads on the back side. Okay. I mean on that side. Yeah, on that side. And if right. you guys want to just take that one off, I have another one I can flip around and then you can try it. Okay. All right. Let's let's try so let me let me change. Let me change. Uh, I was sitting here looking at it going. The problem is, is the glass on the inside of the hinge. If the glass was on the outside of the hinge, then I think we're okay. But I could be wrong. Why don't you leave it and just do it on the next one? This one technically still works. Yeah. So we might we might like scrap all the ideas. Make nope, just build them like this. Just leave it. Let's just do the next window. Will it work? Yes. Does that work? That's it, it works. That's so it. we can just pop screws right here. Yes. Then yes. Oh, I, I told, I said, we're being stupid. <laughs> as soon as we're being, some, we just look at it, we're being stupid. I don't know why. As you said door hinge, I was like, yeah, do it like a door hinge. Why would we do it? it's 7 o'clock at night. We've been, <laughs> been working for 12 hours. I was, I was looking at this door, and I'm like, dude, this is just a door hinge. Everyone makes door hinges every single day. Why can we not figure out a hinge so window? when we close it, does it meet up everywhere? Is it flush, like, up top? Yeah, it should be. I'm just going to go and screw them in real quick. Hang on. We, we are dumb asses. We're so, we are so stupid. Beauty! No. Wow. Hey, go show them the other one. Look, you got painter stick shims bolting it out with the bolt that barely locks on there. And that's the guy she tells you not to worry about. Yeah, so I'm <laughs> still there. Now we need to do the little drill bit trick here to yeah. get this flush, but that's literally that's it. it. And it's fine that, everywhere else. Yes. In case you guys are ever trying to put windows, this is how you do it. I'm sure there's probably a YouTube video out there if we would have just looked it up. We just had to sit in a room and don't do it any other way. That's the way to do it. Don't right waste there. your time. That's money right there. Two little holes. Okay. Count All right. Them well, guns. let's go ahead and get these windows put in. We there we go. Check your route. Oh, yes. Here's money. We're going to have to float a block. Yeah, we'll float. I'd rather float but a block. I'd rather do that than shim it. I'd almost like get it flush and just shoot the net. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. Dude, tell me when you're ready. God. Put some pressure on it. You good? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. You just relax. Yep. Sheesh. Go ahead. That just shatters the window. <laughs> Would you, could you imagine? <laughs> I like it a lot that better. Looks it so looks way. No, you know what? I said we leave that just for the mask. Just for the mask. <laughs> this is the paint stick shim boy. Paint stick shim. Just, just for the mems, we're gonna do that one. It's gonna, you're gonna get like a 500 hour dust, and it's just gonna be like, <laughs> just rattle it. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Just do the 
again. That. Now the question Lock is, how does this look? Not bad. No. Lock it up. That's it. Complete for now. Tomorrow we move it. What if this? What if we just oh, like what? crash? I could. We should be careful tomorrow. Can't put all this work into this thing. Just like tumbles down the hill. Anyways, it's built. It's done. We're ready to eat and go to bed. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Alrighty, folks, next day. Look, it's still in one piece. It didn't burn that. That's good. We got the skid loader out and ready. And I'm realizing these forks are not designed to pick up an eight foot long building. I, you know, I uh, talked to a gentleman who's got some, he can make some extenders, but they're not going to be here for a week. So we're just, we're going to try just to get it out of the building so it's not taking up the whole shop. There's probably no way we're going to get it over where we need to get it. I don't. Not until we get the extenders. You're gonna have to stay until tuned. Wow, English stuff. Stay tuned to part two until we can get some pallet fork extenders. Because I thought if we could lift it up in the dump trailer, dump trailer is a little bit easier to navigate than that big orange trailer. But maybe it'll work. I would say spread them wide, and I guess hope for the best. You guys stay tuned. That thing is not one you want to move. Uh, well, once I get the extenders, I think we'll be, oh, money. It'll be money. But man, without those extenders, it's it is not yeah, an easy. Asking. Yeah. So you guys were holding this backside uh -huh. while it's floating around. The extenders will make a, a huge, huge difference. We got to get some that will be eight foot, so I can actually just pick. The, the skid loader picked this thing up like nothing. I mean, it was literally like less than a hay bale. It was nothing. So I wouldn't. It's not really about the weight. It's more just about the length. And we could have probably strapped it and ran it, but man, the only thing that would suck more than not being able to get it out there is trying to get it out there and the whole thing come falling down. So today is gonna stay just like this, but now that it's out in the daylight, you guys can check it out. <laughs> oh, I didn't break anything, that's good. So, so far, still looks good. I think we're good to go. I mean, these are the only things, they're a little loud. I know, all you guys are like, Flair, those are way too loud, you get scared, oh, you're deep. Listen, we just use what was laying around, okay? If we think it's too loud, then we can put like a little hook, like you literally you can put like a string and like a hook. And this could just be for like more of like a permanent whatever, but then once you get into the blind, you can latch them open and leave them. Uh, and then just like, I mean, you can use like Velcro on the ends or something. But again, we wanted to use kind of what we had laying around, I and mean, that was the whole project. And we, we, built, we bought the two by fours, but other than that, I mean, we bought a little bit of the roof, um, which wasn't super expensive, but this was all recycled material from the cabin build that all you guys gave me so much grief for wasting the wood, but we're not gonna be able to get it down there today. I got my extender, so we're probably looking another week or so before I get the extenders in. And then we should be able to, I mean, I still don't know if I would use a trailer 
I don't know if I would test going down those hills. I think Absolutely. a trailer. Do we know how wide the dump trailer is? Or are we thinking the orange daddy is the one we got to use? Probably the orange one. I don't know if the dump trailer is quite wide enough. But the, the dump trailer would be so nice. The orange one's not bad. It's just... The orange one just tilts it, too, but... It's, it, it's, yeah, it's, and also it's long. By the time you get it down there, I'm going to have to drive down to the cabin and Honestly, do it to I flip it around. The way we, when we had it strapped, it was pretty solid. I think you could back down the hill. Oh, okay, now you really want me to die, Ooh, is what you're telling did? me. You're, if you're driving, you're driving, you got it, son. I ain't driving. Imagine going down down a hill a steep hill with a cabin right and <laughs> i'm all right i'm or whatever this is blind cabin it basically is a cabin at this point but there she is lucy lucy in all her glory now you can come hunting with us buddy you excited yep i know it's exciting well there you go folks homemade diy deer blind complete seven by eight we did one by 12 panels I trimmed it out we got plexiglass we got two by fours for the side you saw pretty much how we did the entire thing so if you guys want to build something like it unless you got some really heavy equipment i would suggest building on like a normal pallet yeah. maybe <laughs> or build it where you're going to put it um it's not bad it's definitely movable I mean, we can put it on skids and drag it around if we want to the problem is you see the terrain we got it's not the flattest and most maneuverable i mean you can barely take a vehicle anywhere besides you know on the trail so if you're on a big flat ground a big flat food plot you can take this sucker you can put it on four by four skids and drag it wherever you want or you can pick it up with a skid loader or a tractor whatever you got but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed like i said if you want to see part two of us tricking this sucker out solar panels tvs cooktops carpet insulation wood burning stove in the corner you let us know in the comment section down below what we should do to this for part two of turning a deer blind into a man cave hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video we'll catch you on the next one and peace